Hello everyone, Big Loud Noise here. Uh, a couple quick announcements before I start this video. Uh, first off, regarding my siren videos, I am, like like I said before, I am going to be re-uploading uh, all my old videos uh, as I finish editing them. Uh, and also, I hope to still get new ones recorded. Uh, of course, this will depend on my schedule and also gas prices, because they're currently up around three fifty a gallon now. And I drive a really big truck that gets like six inches a gallon. Anyway, uh, and my second announcement, um, as you can probably tell by this video, I'm going to start uploading more of my general interest videos, not just siren related videos. Uh, and we'll start off with this one. Um, this is going to be an LED light bulb shootout. I've been kind of a, I guess you could call it a fanatic of LEDs for, uh, for a few years now. Started, started about three or four years ago when I began transitioning all my outdoor Christmas lights over to LED. Uh, in fact, I have a video over on another YouTube account actually named LED Fanatic, uh, and I might re-upload that here soon. But anyway, um, tonight we're going to be looking at LED light bulbs. Specifically, we're going to look at ones uh, that are supposed to, uh, supposedly re suitable replacements for 60 watt bulbs. That's what this is. This is a 60, standard 60 watt bulb. Uh, I happened to find one in a closet that hasn't been used in years, literally. Over here, we have a 60 watt equivalent uh, CFL. Now, this one's been used for a couple years or so, so it's not at maximum brightness, but it's kind of hard to tell by the camera, but they're fairly comparable right now. So a suitable replacement. And actually, um, actually, I have a whole collection of LED bulbs that I've been kind of trying on and off for the past year, year and a half. And I said we're going to try some 60 watt ones, but let's actually start at the dimmest and work up from there. This is my first one. Uh, this is, I think it has 18 LEDs in there. This is uh, perhaps the, this is the only bulb I currently have that actually looks completely like a regular bulb. If you, if you weren't, if you couldn't see the light shining through there, you'd think that this was just a standard fan bulb. Uh, nothing printed on it, unfortunately. So I don't know watts, don't know uh, lumens, anything like that. And I don't have the packaging for it anymore. Paid about $12 for this at Menards uh, last summer, summer of 2010. Obviously nowhere near as bright as a... Nowhere near as bright as a... 60 watt bulb. In fact, here, let me unplug these because you won't be able to see these initial bulbs at first. By the way, my little test rig is just these little sockets plugged into a standard power strip. Alright, anyway, that there is the dimmest bulb I have, except for night light bulbs, which I won't show tonight. Uh, I'd guess maybe equivalent to a 10 or 15 watt bulb. This is uh, this is suitable for a night light. A little bit brighter than a standard night light bulb, but I, I guess it would be good for a night light in a large room. In fact, I have two of these. I have one uh, kind of located centrally in my downstairs. I got an open. I got an open downstairs. I don't have any doors separating all my rooms, and uh, this does a good job of uh, lighting up most of the downstairs, just enough so you can see to at least walk around. Of course, you can't do any work by it. Okay, enough about that one. Let's move on now. This is a candelabra version of that of that same bulb. This, this is the standard, this is candelabra. Uh, same number of LEDs inside, same company, cost about the same. Uh, I have this little adapter here. Let me go ahead and put that in there. So it's, it's pretty much the same brightness. Maybe a tiny bit brighter because of the shape of the bulb, but otherwise it's about the same. Nothing really worth writing home about there. Alright, now we'll step up to this one. Uh, this is slightly bigger. 
Uh, this one was cost about $18 uh, at Menards last summer. I'd say comparable maybe maybe to a 25 watt bulb. We'll go ahead and put that in. A little bit brighter. This one, I got one of these in a closet. Uh, it, it works fairly well. Uh, and it's it's workable in a closet anyway. Uh, or again, it would be good for accent light. I'd say this is about as bright as three of these. Um, I don't recall how many LEDs there are inside there. Anyway. Now we're going to start getting up a little brighter again. I'm going to need this adapter for this next bulb. This one I got at Walmart uh, about three months ago. Uh, so it was just after Christmas uh, 2010. I don't recall how much I paid for this, but I think it was only around $15 if I had to make a guess. Uh, see, transparent. Now you can actually kind of see the inside. Uh, you can see all the little surface mount LEDs on there. 24, there's 27 of them. Uh, it says, it says here, da 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 da, there's a caution. Lights of America, 2 watts. Uh, 45 milliamps, alright. So let's test that one out. And this one is a little brighter. This one I use in a table lamp. A little tiny bit brighter than this. It's also got a little more blue color. The camera is probably not really doing that justice. And excuse my mess in the back, by the way. This is my workbench. I do a lot of work here. A little tiny bit brighter than this. But, uh, yeah, good enough for use in a, in a little table lamp. All right, let me unscrew that. Let me get this adapter out. Give me one second here. Now, this next one. This one cost about, I'm tempted to say, $15, $20 at Menards. Again, about three months ago, about so just after Christmas 2010, uh, 1.5 watts, so it actually uses uh, less power than this, but I think this one is brighter. And going up the line here, I also think this one has the best color. So let's go ahead and put it in there. It's got kind of a... It reminds me more of a compact forest. The color reminds me more of this, but it's still a lot better than this or or these. These kind of have a a little bit of a bluish tint to them. This one definitely, but this one's a little more warmer. This one's a little more pleasing to me anyway. I'd say this one's comparable to a maybe a. 30, 35 watt. I don't even know if they make bulbs that size, but I'm just, I'm just making a guesstimate. Okay. Here's the last one before we get up to the big guys. Uh, this one's actually a spotlight. I use this one uh, in a little security fixture outside. Uh, let's see here. Let me look for Lights of America. This one's rated 4 watts. This one might be kind of hard to see since it's directional. But let's put that in there. Yeah, and you see we're, we're kind of getting up in the wattage because we're starting to get the beefier heat sinks. And that one's, yeah, that one's got some brightness to it. See the camera's having the iris down quite a bit. So, but yeah, I like, I like that one. This would be good in a recessed fixture in a ceiling, as long as it's not enclosed. Uh, just like with CFLs, you can't use these in fixtures that are fully enclosed. Unless you use it outdoors. In that case, then they can. Uh, 